Hey everybody, welcome back. Here we go. Uh, this time, got a 2008 Jeep Commander that we're going to do another key for here. Little Jeep Commander. Uh, this one has a 5 bit key, just like many of the rest that I do. I uh, got the IK618 here that I just bought, so let's go ahead and find the uh, Jeep menu here alright there's Jeep alright we'll select by the vehicle which is going to be the commander and this is going to be a 2008 Go ahead and put the key in so it can communicate. You're going to see it's going to fail. That's one thing people do all the time with these tools. Forget to put the key in. Alright. Let's do it again now that we're connected. Alright. Now the first thing we got to do is pull the pin code to program the new key. I'm going to pause while I grab that code a minute. Alright, I got the pin key. Now we'll go ahead, uh, i got this new key here. Um, I've programmed these van keys many times to these commanders. I know they don't have the sliding doors, but the keys work just the same. All right, let's see here. All right, let's program our blank key. All right, open up our new key. I have to take out your original key here a minute. Now, get your new key, put it in. You're turned over there to accessory. All right. Switch the ignition on and then press OK. All right, now we got to put in the security code that we pulled just a minute ago. All right, code is in. Key is programmed. Procedure complete. Number of keys, five. All right. And again, Let's give it a second. It might beep once or twice. It's important to let it do that before you pull the key out. And let's go ahead and give it a try. Hey, would you look at that? Another successful programming. And there you have it. There's a replacement key. And here's the factory key. All right. Hey everybody, thanks for watching.